guys, my name is Danny. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Today I'm coming at you guys with a Halloween tutorial. I have not done a makeup video in a long time now, so I'm a little bit nervous, but this should be loads of fun. So give this video a like if you do enjoy it, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for more weekly videos. Today's tutorial, I'm going to be doing something that I haven't tried before, so this will be interesting. I'm going to do a stitched up mouth kind of scary looking thing. But the key to this tutorial is that I'm going to be using makeup products that most girls would kind of just have lying around their house anyway so I'm not going to be doing it using any kind of special effects makeup which would be amazing yes but this is just a tutorial for someone who doesn't want to go out and buy all of that stuff so so far I've just done kind of the base of my makeup already I've just done a dark kind of basic eyeshadow and liner and then just put some falsies on to kind of begin the look so yeah let's get into it hope you guys enjoy bye so firstly I'm taking a matte black shade from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette and shout out to my roommate by the way for letting me use some of her makeup because we all know that poor student life struggle is way too real. Anyway, I'm putting it under my eyes to make it look like I've been crying. You just want to do this randomly, don't worry about being too neat as tears aren't perfect anyway. I'm just taking some lip balm and putting it on the tears just to make them look a little bit more wet so they're more realistic. I'm using my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer just to cancel out any colour on my lips so that I look a little bit more dead. And I'm just taking my MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation to set that on the lips. Now for this step, you can literally use any kind of pinky red colour you can find. I'm just using one by Rimmel. The goal here is just to draw the outline of the smile. I'm also blending it around the outside of my mouth just to add to the effect. I also put a little bit of this under my eyes just to look a bit more tired and creepy. Now I'm using a maroony, purpley, browny colour. I really suck at describing colours, but basically I'm just trying to deepen it up a little bit and make it look more bruised. Once you've done that, you can draw the smile on. Now I'm just using a liquid eyeliner pen to do this, although you can use eyeshadows or a liquid lipstick, just whatever works best for you or what you have at home. I'm taking that same shade from the Chocolate Bar palette and just putting that in the middle half of my mouth and just pressing my lips together to create an ombre kind of effect. Now just taking my e.l.f. eyeliner and brush, I am drawing the stitches on. Now in most looks that I've seen, these are really like perfect and symmetrical, but I wanted to do mine a little bit different and just do them a bit more random because I wanted them to look more gory and gross and not super neat and perfect. Now I'm just going over the stitches with a red liquid lipstick just to make them look kind of like they've been bleeding. Now for the fun part guys, we get to sew up the mouth. Now for this step, I'm just using some wiry cotton and I'll link below where I found that online and I'm gluing that on with my Duo Lash Glue. You just want to do each stitch one at a time so you want to measure on your face how big you need to cut it and then yeah it's quite a tedious process you will get there in the end it's worth it but yeah you've just got to kind of hold them in place and wait for them to dry i found that using tweezers actually helped a lot with this this look is awesome because you can still open your mouth and we all know how important food is to me priorities on point danny so that is basically the finished look now you can pose all creepily and take lots of photos you could also add white contacts and a hospital gown to this look, which I think would look really, really cool. I'd love to know what you guys are dressing up for for Halloween, so let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!